In this video, let us look into a new topic called as right circular cone. Now speaking of cone, the first few things that come to our minds are the ice cream cone or the clown's cap or the sharpened end of a pencil and all these things. Now, but as far as the math that we're doing is concerned, this is how a cone is going to look like. I'm drawing an inverted cone here. So here it is. Now, here is the cone. Now, otherwise the actual cone something, say for example, an ice cream cone looks something like this. This is the cone and then we've got the ice cream and stuff on top of the cone. So this is the cone that we're talking about. And why are we calling it a right circular cone? This is a cone, but why circular cone? Because the base on which it rests as far as the inverted thing that I've drawn is clearly a circle. And why is it a right circular cone? This is very similar to the right cylindrical or the right circular cylinder that we did the last time. The axis here, the line here has to be at right angles or it makes a 90 degree line with a horizontal axis here. Now, what about a one that is not a right circular cone? That looks something like this. See, we've got an axis here and then that cone will look something like this and then the axis is like this. And this is definitely not a right angle. So this is not a right circular cone. This is a right circular cone. Now let us quickly learn some of the terms related to the right circular cone. And the first term that we're going to learn is the vertex. The fixed point V here is called the vertex of the cone. The second point is axis. The fixed line VO, this line here VO is called the axis of the cone. The third point is the base. Now a right circular cone such as this has a plane end, this end, which is in circular shape. The shape is circular in shape. So this is called the base of the cone. The next term is the height. Now the length of the line segment joining the vertex to the center of the base. The vertex is V and the center of the base is O. So this line segment and the length of this line segment, especially the length of this line segment is called the height of the cone. The proper definition would be like this. The length of the line segment joining the vertex to the center of the base is called the height of the cone. The next point is slant height. Now the slant height is nothing but it is the length of the line segment joining the vertex to any point on the circular edge. In this case it is A and B. So these two are the slant heights. So the length of the line segment joining the vertex to any point on the circular edge of the base is called the slant height of the cone. The final point is the radius. The radius OA of the base circle is called the radius of the cone. So this ends the basics of a right circular cone. So now let us learn about the surface area and the volume in the forthcoming videos of the right circular cone.